Hi there, happy Wednesday. Ooh, gosh, that was a bit lower than I thought it was. What's in the big box, Janet? Paris, number two. <laughs> but first of all, I'll show you. Kelly did an unboxing of her camera. I didn't do an unboxing of my camera because when I unboxed it, I was like, what the heck? So I had to go down to Kelly's. I had to nip down. <laughs> Well, she sorted me out with what it was going on with it. Still haven't tried it out yet, so I'm going to try it out later. But I thought I'd use the old camera because I wanted to show you the camera and show you the unboxing. Right, first of all, the camera. Oh, I've got a hair, GG hair. Um, that's what it's called. It's like one of those non-specific. I don't know whether it's got a name or it hasn't got a name. I think it's got a name when you get inside all the hair. Gigi's over there, by the way. I'll show you before I go off the video. Anyway, this is what it is. Got it from trusty old Amazon. I was fortunate enough to sell um, a cardigan on Etsy. And also, I got paid for looking after Gigi. So, I spent it on... It's called, an, well, it's double A, B, E, L, O, Y. So it's R, boy, I'm not sure, yeah. The microphone that Kelly was speaking of, and if you watch her video, is actually detachable. She didn't kind of know that when she ordered hers. Um, so I don't know whether she would have ordered this one, but hers was uh, just a tiny bit cheaper. But I'd had my eye on this one for quite some time. So it's, I don't know whether you can see it or not. It's got all the usual functions. It's got a little swivel switched itself off. It's got a little, what I've never had before. Before it was difficult to see where the camera was pointing because my old camera sort of points down and you think you're not in it. So you point it upward and you're looking at the ceiling, yeah? So this is my new one. Anyway, it's got all the, whoop, turn it round again got all the usual kebab bubble lipses on there and all the little things on there that of course as usual I haven't fathomed out completely yet I haven't actually you know <laughs> filmed anything yet it's got a lens cap cover which is handily attached so I don't lose it because you know what I'm like <laughs> I'll just shut it down it turned itself off did you hear that it came with a little camera bag um, which I, I probably I might not use much. It's also got another spare battery. It's got two batteries, and it's got a lead, big lead. It's got an even bigger lead, and oops! It's also got uh, the instruction book for the microphone and the instruction book for the camera and it's also got a remote control which will be handy there'll be no more me backing into the camera going hello folks <laughs> or me trying to lean over and switch it off hopefully when I get this to work mm, you know how technologically minded I am so hopefully it'll be better quality photographs you know for my crochet garments you know I'm hoping for better stitch definition and um, stuff like that because my I took some photographs um, with wonky Paris not this Paris wonky one she's gone by the way she's gone to a nice new home she's not been scrapped thankfully uh, a nice lady came and picked her up and said she thought she could repair her so she's a better woman than I am I just couldn't repair her Every time I tried to get a hold of her, my hands slipped, so I couldn't like put her in position to get it glued. And because my hands don't work, as you know, I've said that many times before, so it's nothing new. And I just couldn't grip her because she's slidey. So this one will be equally as slidey, no doubt, but it won't be broken, will it? So here we go. Here we go. It doesn't say which side is up, so. 
We'll try this side. Ooh, light up, Paris, let me know. This should be funny because you know my hands. My hands don't work. <laughs> I should have waited till Kelly came actually, but I'm not sure if she's coming tomorrow or not. I'm hoping she is, but just in case. With a very unsharp scissors that have been in. They were originally dressmaker's scissors, but they've been used for everything under the sun since, including wallpapering. So that's why they're looking like this. Uh, when I stopped using them for decorating, my ex husband used them for everything else. So. So if you have a decent pair of scissors and you want to just make, make sure nobody touches them and make sure they never cut paper with them. There's nothing blunts them quicker than cutting paper. They've been left out in the garden and all sorts. That's why the this colour. Oh. Oh. I can see bodywork. In a million pieces, I can see bodywork. Oh, dun, dun, dun. she's still got the same arm thing. She seems like the same material, so that's a good, uh, good thing. Arm um, number two. I could have had one with her arm like that, or I could have had another one with her arms up there, but I, don't, I thought they'd be even harder to dress than ones with straight down arms. So, that's a straight down arm. Uh, this looks like her. Oh, this is a bit I have trouble with. This looks like her legs, her torso. Oh, oh, Paris. Still going to be Paris, by the way. This is Paris number two. Woo. <laughs> this is the bit of her that broke the last time. As you can see, it's a plastic bit, and the, the metal rod went into it. But because she kept falling over a lot of times, um, this all broke. So that's why she had a very hefty bandage on. Her. So let's hope that. Stay. That she stays. This is her body. Oh, to have a figure like yours, Paris. There's her figure. She's very much like the other one, although I don't remember the other one having a, a groove down the middle like that. But that's a minor detail, isn't it? Right, you stand there, Paris. She seems to have a much longer neck than the other one did. But we shall see. We shall see. This should be a head. Oh, she's not quite as pretty as the other Paris. She'll do, I suppose, but she's she wouldn't win the same beauty contest that the other Paris would have won. attached. Not sure how these attach but uh -huh. not sure. That goes on there. Now is not the time to find you've cross threaded the, sc the screw. Oh they're so difficult these things. But you don't cross thread them. Would help if I put my scissors down, wouldn't it? Right, excuse me, Paris number two. Uh, I don't know why she doesn't look quite as attractive as the other Paris, but oh, she's got different nostrils. You can actually see her nose on this one. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm sure you really wanted to know, isn't it? 
Right, let me see if I can get this on. Does that fit in anywhere? She doesn't seem to have any... It doesn't look very secure. Maybe it goes in that way. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> she doesn't have any instructions in case you're wondering why I'm not reading them. I'm doing a my son. A my son on it because my son never reads. That's better. Let's see if we can fit her head on now. Oh, that's why she's got a long neck. The head fits on further on, if you can see it. The head fits on further on. Right, sit there, Paris. She's tiring. <laughs> she's not going off to a good start here, is she? Right, lie down, darling, because we don't want you to have any more dense. Behave. Right, this appears to be The metal bit. This is what broke last time, this bit here that's supposed to screw through the glass. It just ripped straight off, that's what happened last time. So that's why she was all glued down. So hopefully I'll make a better job of it this time. <laughs> now I've put her all together, I found the instructions. Oh, this one doesn't have a wonky leg. That's good. The other one had a leg that screwed and it kept falling off every time I touched it. So I prefer this Paris because of that fact alone. That's why the other Paris had got black sticky, grey sticky tape on her leg. Right, here we go. Instructions. Yahee Tech. I think I know how to do everything. It's just a plate. I must make sure I get the plate bit right. It's the glass plate. And not much instruction on how to screw her onto a glass plate. But never mind. And she seems to have... That must be the bottom of it. So now we need to find the top bit of it and put the screw through. This is the bit that broke last time. It's not very substantial, is it, you know, but then... <laughs> Maybe I treated mine too roughly. Maybe I did. Oh. See what I mean about hands that don't work? do with a Kelly for this. If I don't get this right she's going to wobble over and she's going to be just as dangerous as the other Paris was. And this screw is not screwing up tightly at all. Ah it is but it's not in the right uh, angle as far as I know. No it's supposed to go that way round I think. Hang on, where's which, oh yeah, which leg, yeah. It's supposed to go that way. It's not screwing up that way. I think it's going to need a screwdriver, which I don't have at the moment. If I screw it like that, it tightens up the wrong way. Ah. Kelly, help. I'll screw it up later. Anyway. When I screw that the right way, that goes up inside of her leg. And actually I do prefer, well that's a good start, a bit of whatever come off it. I do prefer the fact that she has two legs stood together. The other one was stood with one leg up in the air and one leg down and she overbalanced so quickly. So this one hopefully is standing on like two, two toes now, two feet. So, yes, so there she is. I shall show you once when she's finished all together. When she's finished, I shall show you again. Because I can't put her leg on there while that's at the wrong angle, if you know what I'm talking about. 
So, I don't want to break them. I'll put her down. <laughs> what a mess I'm making. Now I've got to get up off this low poofy thing, or whatever you want to call them. We used to call them a poof, but I don't think correctly you're not supposed to say that anymore now. Footstool, I think you're supposed to say now. Although I sit on it, so it's not really a footstool, is it? Right, Paris, number two. Go over there, dear. She's actually not as slippy. She's not made as slippy as the other one. And I think actually she's a bit slimmer. You know, the other one, I couldn't hold the arms. They were just sliding all the time. So I think maybe this one will be better for my hands. Right, let me get up. Excuse my ungainly posture, but I can never get up off these damn things. Excuse me, Frank. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is what I'm like. If my knees are higher than my hips, I can't get up. Right, let's see what I can do. One, two, three. Oh, nope. Up. Oh. Up I come. I'll go behind the camera now. Show you the rest of the world. Oh, oh dearie me. Well, that's a lovely mess, isn't it? That's a fine mess you've got me into. That's my, my coat behind the door. So now we've got Paris in pieces, we've got the camera, we've got some magazines, that's her, her base there. This is the box I need to break up. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, this is the, oh, I think I might do better actually if I take the camera off the tripod. I can unscrew it. Oh, that's the bookcase with some of the like overspill books in. I've got it off now. There we go. Those are all the the baskets now that I've now got all my organic cotton in. I've got two sets of them. Oh, there's the the overspilled bookshelf with some spare crochet hooks stuck on the top of my hat. <laughs> there is your friend of mine watching the world go by on my seat. And as I said, that's where I keep. I'm hoping to be able to get rid of this big box. Because, but there's nowhere else to put it, you know, without it getting followed. Gigi hair, yeah. And that's the basket on wheels that I rescued from a skip that I use for my crochet ring usually, but that one's too big, it doesn't fit in it. And uh, I've got some patterns in here and some of the Hobium cotton and grease. Some bits and pieces left over from the sweater I just finished. Gigi's dog brush. Excuse the fact that it's pink. Um, no, I don't have a ghost. My door just happens to want to open on its own, which frightens everybody except me, because <laughs> I'm so used to it. I used to have a friend who used to jump out of his skin every time he did that. It just opens on its own. It's obviously a faulty door catch and wind coming down from upstairs, isn't it? So it doesn't worry me too much. Um, the tree outside, if you can see it, is overblown now. It was a beautiful pale pink, but sadly now it's gone past its best and it's it looks like it's snowing pink. Uh, there's my lucky elephants in the window. There's my, my junk on my table. I moved the dining table in here so it actually opens up if I want to. But see, there's nobody ever has dinner with me anymore. I just used it in here. The big glass table I had in here was actually too big. So it's now gone into the other room, yeah. Um, there's Sir Gigi. Hello, say hello Gigi, say hello to everyone. He says, no, I don't want to. I don't want to, don't feel like it. 
I'd rather just listen to see if there's any doggies coming up the road. And there isn't at the minute. But this is what I have to contend with. I have to contend with miles and miles of dog air all over me, all over everywhere. But we don't care, do we, G? And then this is what I need to sort out. It's got my crochet hooks in and different things in. I need to badly sort that out. And this is my craft lamp, which is turned the wrong way at the moment. Those are my houses across the way. My house is very, very similar to, to those in looking. But it's a nice area. It's very quiet, as you can see. Very, very, very quiet. The bins are out because it's bin day. I've moved mine. I've put mine back in. Oh, now we have a wasp up in the window. I don't think you can see it. It's crawling up the window somewhere. I don't think this camera's good enough to pick out the detail. Right. Oh, let's turn around. We've got Mr. Gigi on my recliner with his furry cover and his cushion. This is where I sit most of the time. This is where Gigi normally sits. And that's my beautiful blanket that I got sent uh, from me from everyone. Oh, it's telling me the battery's going low now. But Gigi claims it a lot of the time. And then I've got a chest of drawers there where I keep a lot of my um, bits and pieces to do with my crocheting, yeah. Um, and that's about it, really. These are all, these were my mum's cupboards. That's my mum's china, uh, not china, crystal glassware. And that's all my ornaments and bits and pieces. And then we're back to Paris again. So next time you see me, hopefully I'll be, oh there's my plant, my TV and the pictures of my G, my buster. So next time you see it, I'm hopefully going to be using my new camera. So I'll say goodbye for now and then I can get rid of all of this rubbish. So bye!